What do you guys think it is about the mythology of vampires that has stood the test of time? I think because it's connected to Satan, so to what we basically believe in, God. It's the antithesis of God, you know. Dracula uh, is, is kind of the archangel, the fallen angel, and uh, 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 concentrates all the dark forces we feel in ourselves. So uh, a decadence as well. Vampires need more all the time, and it's it's kind of always been seen as slightly sexy because it's so it's so visceral with sorry with a physical contact and and your the, the very blood in your veins that makes up every one of us. I think it's it's a kind of carnal desire that we we can attach ourselves to in some kind of way. We can sort of understand on a tiny level the the want of someone else, the uh, need of someone, and the life. fact that you you you. You, 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 you crave for eternal life. We all know that we are going to die. And this myth creates the palpable idea that we can go on for a much longer period, perhaps for eternal life, if we do crazy stuff. So let's say genetic, you know, crazy stuff, suck the blood out of, 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 of humans. Or, and, and in a certain way, this is nothing else than a mythological version of what uh, scientists try. They try to improve our life condition, to, to make us live longer. Uh, genetics try to, to push the, the boundaries. And, and, you know, there are lots of very rich uh, billionaires who have their body frozen with the hope that in 50 years they can... You know, it's it's in us, you know, it's really in us. What's it been like for you guys to see the size and scope of this series expand from season to season? It's incredible. Uh, I mean, the the effects that they have on this show, it's not only post-production, it's, it's there right in front of you. We walk onto set and we have these incredible art departments that, that make everything so real for us. And then then another layer is added on top with the special effects and it's it's just it feels like a, a huge blockbuster movie every day they really really spend the time on making the environment so incredibly visceral yeah that's actually one of those shows where you even though you're one of the lead characters you come on set and you're blown away by what you see, what they prepared for you. And the guys from, from the, the different artistic departments, they come in, let me show you something. They're yeah, eager they're to show excited. you. So everybody is kind of really excited to blow the mind of the others. So <laughs> then, you know, and, and then you have them, norm you know, I, my, first, my first day on that third season, I was meeting Fed in front of a church and we, I, I say a phrase and I go away. And I said to myself, well, easy peasy. I went there, it was in the midst of the night, whole downtown was closed down, the whole downtown was empty, like after an apocalyptic uh, uh, nuclear meltdown, and it was really like the city was ours. And I thought, holy crap, I'm in the midst of a big blockbuster Will Smith movie uh, uh, with a budget of 250 or whatever billion dollars. No, we are on a TV series, The Strain, where people just take care to produce quality on, on every level, you know.